Here it is, the life back drag bike, built by Andy in six weeks. Just about to go down the Santa Claus. Switch. Yeah, we've got that there, yeah. yeah don't worry about that. Right, pre charge is on, give it a minute. Probably the strangest drag race I've ever done. Uh, no noise. Bike picked up very well. Uh, just generally went through the throttle, and you know the speed was really good. Um, lots more potential. Can easily handle that. Um, go for a British record. <laughs> off the line. I just you know just gently let it kind of ride away off the line. Okay. And just as we as we go along, it was just you know a very gradual sort of throttle, just to just to keep it going and just build up the speed. Um, but what I'll do now is now that I, you know, kind of got the meal for it, I'll start putting some more in straight away. Yeah. And get up to speed a bit quicker. Because obviously, if we're putting a lot of torque in at the start and yeah. then it peters off towards yeah. the end, we need to get up to speed as quick as possible. Some of them can easily be there. Um, started beeping up the top end. No, I don't worry about As that. As I came off the track, it was going dead, 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 like, dead, constant beeping. Oh, right, so the battery down. Charge, then. Yeah. yeah. Did it feel? It was a lot. It was yeah. It felt faster at the top end. Yeah. Did it feel uh, quicker on the launch? Did, it still looks slow on the launch. I uh, it felt. Felt slightly quicker. Yeah. Um, quick yeah. Can we advance the motors? There's no, more amps. Let's go another turn on the amps. This is the last adjustment. So we take this one up and then we can advance the brushes. Yeah. Yeah. Another quarter turn on the amps. The initial bit is much the same. Yeah. It, we have the laptop on the while we're charging this still see where we got. Still it was picking up very nicely. Not that we can do anything about and it. It felt but, very fast uh, yeah. up until the point when it died. It'd be nice to know why. I think happened. I could hear the beeping as I was slowing down, so obviously yeah. the batteries have gone off on the way up. Right? It needs um, a bigger sprocket on the back. We've got that gear for 120 miles an hour, you see. And it should, if it was more, if we came down, we went up a few more teeth, we'd have a much, you know, we'd be off the line a lot quicker. Mm. But can you load it up before you go off the line? There's no need, you get maximum torque as soon as you, as soon as you go. Flip, as soon as you flip ah, the wrist, right. that's it, you're off. Cool. Running a 15.028. Right, we've got another electric bike. 
Beeping all the way up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was beeping when I crossed the line, so I stopped at the end, uh, just twitched it off for a second, turned it all back on, and then it was just wasn't beeping because I don't think we we're going quick enough for it. Um, fantastic, well done, Andy. Oh, yeah, Four thirty-eight. Four thirty-eight. I'm not supposed to be able to do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just proved that wrong. Yeah. <laughs> now. <laughs> Get out of the way, fear of ruining the photo. Oh, I've got a patient here. Yeah. Yeah, well, 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 well,